Hello everyone, my name is Carmen. Welcome to my life. Today we are going to be talking about a go bag. This is a go bag and this is what goes in a go bag. You've heard of a to-go box, you've heard of a to-go bag. This is a go bag. For those with special needs kiddos or differently abled kiddos, however you want to word it, this is kind of everything you're going to need for a day out. This is not everything you particularly will need, but this is something that my son needs uh, when we go to the doctor, uh, to the mall, to the park. We just have a little bit of everything that we're going to need in case something happens and you never know what that's going to be. You can use a backpack, you can use a diaper bag, um, really any kind of bag you want to use. We like to use a backpack because it can strap to our back with lots of pockets, lots of places to put things, and it just works for us. So use whatever kind of bag you want. Also, a big thing to note if you are a home care nurse or if you're a parent, you always want to put in the go bag the minimum requirements that your agency or your nurses have to put in there. So if they require certain things, at least have those things in there and then anything else is completely up to you. So as I pack the bag, I'm going to let you know everything that we put in it. First thing first, your plan of care. You always want to have a plan of care in your bag or something that I've recently done, not recently, but um, probably within the last year, I have made up a fact sheet about my son. It's called Tyler's Fact Sheet. It has medical history, surgical history, a list of medications, um, sort of a wish list for orders if he should be going into the hospital, um, a particular diet, his feed regimen. Um, anyway, this can go in place of that. I just like something simple in one page and I can just tuck into the backpack. I don't have that with me right now, so I will tuck the plan of care into this first front pocket. You can organize it however you want. This is just what works for us. The next thing I like to do is our agency requires at least a button and I can't remember what else, but at least a button. Excuse me, he has a button. It has everything in here that we're gonna need. It's gonna have the lube, the syringe, or the syringe, a uh, extension tube, and then the actual button. So we're gonna put this in the biggest compartment. Now, the next thing, I like to do the bulky items in the bigger compartment, of course. The next thing, if there is an accident of some sort, a change of clothing. I don't pack this in a like a gallon uh, freezer bag or anything. I just like to put this out right here. So, pull-ups. If your kiddo is not potty trained or incontinent, these can be a lifesaver. So have plenty. We usually carry about between four and six, but for today's video, we're going to do about four of these. So. Speaking of accidents, speaking of pull-ups or incontinent, I like to have gallon freezer bags. We can use these to put soiled clothing, soiled pull-ups, if you're not in a place where there's quick access to a trash bag. We can also use actual trash bags. This one is like one of the smaller trash bags you put in a trash bag that you can put in, say, a bathroom trash can. Uh, I also will carry a bigger size of 13 gallon. So just depends on what you want to use today. I'm going to put both of these in here. So I'll put this along the side in the main compartment. Okay, so let's get to wipes. I typically will put in a package of Huggies wipes. We like to use the Huggies Natural Care Wipes. We get eight packages of these. Actually, we get 16 packages of these every month through Amazon and we are on a subscription. So it's nice never to have to run out of these and we're always gonna need them and we always have them. So this goes in there as well. Another thing I like to put in is a plastic bag of gloves. You never know when you're gonna need them and if you're a home care nurse, you will always need gloves. So let's put those in as well. I'm gonna put those in the front pocket it's nice and small and compresses very easy along with some syringes and an extension tube. If your kiddo is a tube feed these come in really handy and along with that 
let's say your feeding pump battery runs out, you forget the cord, you didn't charge it, it has happened to us. You always want to have a piston syringe. This is the uh, flat top piston irrigation syringe. So you want to keep one of these handy because if your pump runs out of battery, you can't work it, whatever, you can use this for a gravity feed. Simple. Always like to have a backup to the backup. And my kiddo is incontinent, like I said, but his bladder doesn't work. So we have to catheterize him through a metrophenol. That's going to be in a later video. But we have to cap him every four hours. So basically breakfast, lunch, dinner, and bedtime, we at least have a day's worth of catheters. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, bed, yeah. So we have four of these. I'm going to put these in our bag. We're going to put these in the back. And it's just tucked right there. And because they're flat, it's easy to do. Uh, there's miscellaneous things. Tape, I'll usually put that in the front. Extra feeding vibes. Like I said, back up to the back up. And then I don't recommend this if you're going to keep your bag in the car. We usually just keep it in our SUV in the back and that way we always have it. But here in Texas, in the middle of the summer, you don't want to have your formula in the bag in the car. So if you're just going out for the day, just find a spot and tuck it right in. And we usually carry enough for two feeds or carry enough that you have it for however long you're going to be gone. And then you zip everything up. And that is our go bag. So put anything in it you want. Do it at least put the minimum requirements in there that your nursing agency requires. And here you go. Remember to like this video, subscribe, hit the button to get all the notifications, and remember my name is Carmen. Welcome to my life. Bye.